Hello and welcome to Find Other Cooking. I'm Marie. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this stir-fried pork belly with garlic and soy sauce. This is a classic Chinese comfort food using common ingredients from your food pantry. It has tons of flavor and requires little effort to put together. So let's get started. We'll be using one and a half pounds of pork belly. For seasoning, we'll use three sauces, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and oyster sauce, along with Xiaoxing wine. We'll also use garlic and star anise. That's it for the ingredients. Now let's get them ready. To start, we'll finely chop the garlic. Since this is a quick and easy stir-fry, there won't be enough time to make the skin tender, so we'll just remove it. I don't discard it though. I save it to make gelatin for soup dumplings. Cut the pork into bite size, which is about a quarter of an inch thick. The last thing we need to prepare is the slurry. We do that by dissolving 2 teaspoons of cornstarch in 3 tablespoons of water. Give it a good stir and set it aside. All our ingredients are now prepared. So let's start cooking. First, heat up 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Pour in the pork. Spread the pieces out first. Then seal the undersides by cooking for about half a minute without stirring. Turn them over and seal the other side the same way. After both sides are sealed, make a space in the center to add the garlic. Wait until they begin releasing their fragrance, then add the star anise. you notice that there is quite a bit of grease released by the pork. Try to remove as much as you can. Now it's time to add our sauces. Pour in 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce. It contains molasses which adds color and a tint of sweetness to our dish. Add 2 tablespoons each of light soy sauce and something wine. This will give the pork a tremendous amount of flavor. Now go ahead and turn down the heat to a simmer. Cover and cook for about a minute or until the sauce has reduced. Pour in the slurry now. It binds the sauces to the meat and also gives it a smooth and glossy texture. Finally, add 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce for the extra pop of flavor. Mix it all up and it's done. Garnish it with chopped scallions for a beautiful finish. It goes well with steamed rice and veggies. Here we go. Mm. It's tender and rich in flavors. So delicious. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I love hearing from you. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.